In today's class, guys, like we will see the difference between Arista and Cisco CLI. Okay, like I have seen these days, companies are using Arista switches, okay, in their data center. I remember, guys, like one of the company, they hired me because I have mentioned the Arista switches in my CV. But believe me, guys, like working on Arista switches, okay, this almost feels like, like you are working on a Cisco because both the vendor has almost equivalent CLI command. So definitely guys, like after this class, you will add the Arista switches, okay, in your CV. So in this topology, guys, like if you see, I have a one side is Arista switch and the other side is Cisco. And we have a two host, which are basically participate in the CV. So in Cisco side, guys, like I, I have already done the configuration. So I, I have configured the SBI interface for VLAN 10 and these two host machine, okay, already we have given the IP address. However, on the Rista side, guys, there is no configuration. So the first thing I like, we will configure the VLAN, which is VLAN 10. And I'm going to put that port in VLAN 10. And this side guy, like as I told you, Cisco side, we have configured this port in ether channel. And I, I use guys like LACP protocol. The same guy like on Arista side, I will configure the port channel. And over the port channel guy, like we will pass the VLAN. And at the end guys, make sure these two PCs should be communicate to each other, okay? So let's do the configuration guy like on the Arista side. So by default guy like Arista has the username is admin. And there is no password. Just like a Cisco guy, like this is the enable mode. And we, when we type enable, then we go to the privilege mode. And if you want to do the configuration, okay, you will go to configuration mode, okay. So just like a Cisco, okay. The first thing I like, I will change the host name. So let's say this is my Arista switch. And then guy, like the first thing I will configure the SPI interface for VLAN 10. So the IP address as per this diagram, that should be 10.3. So interface VLAN 10 and IP address 192.168.10.3. So in Arista guys, you can like use the question mark and tab just like a Cisco. So you can define the subnet mask like this slash 24, which is I think like I, in Cisco iOS XR, we have a same option. I think Nexus also have the same option, or you can also use 255.255.0. And the same way, guy, like you see, if you want to verify uh, your SBI interface is showing up or not, so same one like show IP interface brief. So make sure your SBI interface should be up up. But right now, guy, like you see both layer one and layer two showing down now. You remember, guy, like if your SBI interface is showing down, down, make sure uh, this uh, VLAN must be exit in your database. So remember, guy, like I haven't configured any VLAN, so I just created the SBI interface for that VLAN. Okay, so you can like check the database. Okay, show VLAN a brief. So there is no VLAN, and just like a Cisco, all my port in VLAN one. So like the second thing, definitely guys, we will create the VLAN. And once we create the VLAN, that SVI should be show up, up, okay. So if you see show IP interface brief, so this SVI interface still showing down, down. And the second reason, guys, like if you remember, one of the port should carry uh, the traffic for this VLAN, okay. So, so this port, port guys, Ethernet 3. So this port should be, must be the part of the VLAN 10. So interface Ethernet 3, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10. So if you see guys the command, like you feel like you are working on a Cisco. So that's why guys, like I, I make this video, okay. Because believe me guys, like I, I have done the work on Arista switches. And I, I don't face any difficulty, okay? Because as I told you, both the vendor has almost equal command, okay? So now if you see, guys, like show IP interface brief, my SBI interface is showing up, up. 
and now let's configure the port channel guys so interface so in cisco guys like we use the range command so if you want to do the configuration or multiple interface at the same time like interface range in arista there is no range keyword you don't need to use okay you can simply mention like ethernet one dash two so i think like in cisco nexus okay is is similar like a in cisco nexus we don't use the range keyword because these arista which is guy like mainly designed for uh data center network okay so the similar guy like channel group one mod so we are using lacp so for lacp guy like we can use the mod is active and once we create the port channel then all the command like switch port more trunk we will run under the virtual interface okay so you see like it's very easy just like a cisco okay this is the same way we configure the port channel in cisco and the way we can verify guys like show port channel so in cisco ios guys command is show ether channel so here guys like you can use the question mark and either you can use the show port channel brief or dance so in cisco guy like we use command like show ether channel summary so you can see guy like in cisco we use show ether channel summary and right now my port is showing up as by both port are showing in bundle so in arista you can see show port channel dance which is equal to show ether channel summary and you can see guy like your port channel is up now and both are port and showing in bundle. Okay. So similarly, guy like a uh, like a Cisco. Okay, uh, we like if we see like in Cisco iOS, the other command we use on a switch is okay, which is show interface status. So this command guy like show you like these these are my interface, and the status is connected or not connected, and this is in uh, VLAN tan. This is the part of VLAN. Uh, this is a part of the uh, port channel okay and what is the speed setting what is the duplex setting and the other guy like if you see show running configuration so you can see the configuration also so by default guy like uh, this switch working as a layer two because routing is disabled but if you see guy like uh, this is almost equal equivalent to uh, cisco cli okay so let's check the connectivity guys like end to end so as per our requirement, okay, we configure this port in VLAN 10. We configure the port channel and by default port channel are carrying all the VLAN traffic. That means this port is carrying the VLAN 10 traffic and Cisco side guy, like I already have done the configuration to make sure now these hosts should be uh, reachable. Okay. So let's check the connectivity guy. Like I'm on a host one. And if you see the IP address, my IP address is show IP interface brief 10.1. And let me ping guys like ping 192 10.2, which is the other host. And you see guys like we have a reachability. You can also ping the SPA interface of Arista, which is 10.3. Yeah, I can also ping the SBI interface of Arista and we can also ping the uh, SBI interface of Cisco, okay, which is 10.4. So also, guy, like you see, I also attached the, uh, one of my real company Arista switch configuration. So yeah, if you open this guy's like a text file, okay, and compare this configuration with Cisco, almost you will see the same result okay so i hope guys you like this video and thank you for watching